Welcome to ABM's VR360 training for wide body jet lavatory service. A vital part of aircraft preparation between flights is the servicing of the lavatory units, draining the tanks and replenishing the blue degerm water. These units ensure a comfortable travel experience for the passengers, but they can also cause immense challenges when not serviced correctly, causing the aircraft to sometimes return to original departure cities, causing huge delays and inconveniencing passengers. This servicing is performed for every flight in sun, rain, snow, and wind, and at all hours of the day or night. This work is essential to getting an aircraft ready for its next flight. So don your protective gear, be aware of what is going on around you, and drive safely. If you have any questions or safety concerns, please contact your supervisor immediately. Before we get started, take a look around. Look up, down, left, and right. You can even turn around and see what is behind you. Be careful not to lose your balance. We recommend you sit in a chair that swivels. This training will immerse yourself into what it's like to be there on location, step by step, doing the job. This training will start with the POI, or vehicle walk around, checking to be sure the truck is working properly and you have everything you need to safely do your job. We will then take you to the aircraft where you will learn how to drain the tanks and replenish with blue degerm water. Finally, you will learn how to drain and refill the lavatory truck. Please note that every airport location may have differences in equipment or processes. If you have any questions about safety or doing your job, please contact your supervisor immediately and only do what you have been trained, certified, and authorized to do. To get started, first do a complete walk around the truck. For your PPE or personal protection equipment, be sure you are wearing non-slip shoes, a safety vest or shirt, have ear protection, gloves, and a face shield. Then check the following to be sure they are in safe working condition. Headlights. Brakes. Emergency brake, functioning seat belt, horn, windshield wipers, mirrors, tires, chocks. safety cone, 33-gallon track can, flags, five-gallon bucket, Flow meter check. Paddle mechanism. Service hoses. Dump handle is closed. Approach the aircraft, stopping two times to confirm the brakes are functioning properly. First, stop outside the safety diamond or safety envelope.
The second stop is approximately 25 feet from the aircraft. When backing up to approach the aircraft for service, remember to place the safety cone before performing three brake checks, coming to a complete stop for each brake. A guide person must be used for all wide-body aircraft. Stop at least three feet from the mainline aircraft. Place the vehicle in park and set the emergency brake. Push the relay button to activate the relay to transfer power to the hydraulics. Place chocks behind and in front of the truck's driver rear tire. Confirm the D-germ meter is at zero, then step into the basket and close the door, reaffirming it is locked. Place the dump hose into its hook. Place the D-germ hose into its hook. Place the five-gallon bucket in the basket of the lift. Raise the basket up to a serviceable level for the selected aircraft. To raise the basket, push and hold the leftmost black button labeled as activate and simultaneously press and hold the up button. Open the service panel access door. It is very important to not service the aircraft if there is a do not service or inoperative sticker on the outside or inside of the panel door. Make a note on your servicing log with the aircraft number and that the lavatory was not serviced. If any damage is visibly seen to the aircraft, you must stop service, press the LYTX panic button, and contact both ABM dispatch and ABM manager on duty. Do not service the aircraft if there is any damage. Open the lavatory flapper. If liquid starts to leak past the slightly open door, position the five gallon bucket under the lavatory flapper for approximately five seconds to capture any residual residue. Remove the coupling from the truck and attach it to the drain valve. This is done by rotating the end of the coupling to the left, unlocked position. Place coupling on the drain valve. Then, rotate to the right lock position. If the coupling is properly locked, you will hear a click, which indicates the coupling is properly attached to the aircraft. You may not hear the click due to ambient noise, but will feel the click. Confirm the coupling is attached by gently pulling at the base of the coupler to confirm the coupler is locked. Remove the D-germ fill cap. Attach the D-germ hose. To lock the fill hose to the fill line, turn the end of the coupling to the right. Ensure a click is heard and gently pull on the hose to make sure it is properly attached. After the coupling is attached to the aircraft, you will see a tab labeled push to open next to the drain port. Push the tab to release the flapper. This action will open the waste drain valve. To drain the holding tank, hold the D-germ T-handle there may be up to three handles, depending on aircraft. Warning, never pump D-germ into a lavatory that has not been dumped. This will prevent an overflow, resulting from servicing a lavatory that has not dumped and is already full. The guide person will ensure the D-germ meter is reset to zero after every servicing of flush and fill, as per aircraft specifications. The employee in the basket will signal the guide person with a thumbs up Close the D-germ T-handle. Disconnect the D-germ hose and connect it to the next fill port. Use the five-gallon bucket to catch any residual D-germ. Repeat the rinse and fill process according to specifications. Repeat for every fill port on the aircraft. Again, use the bucket as needed to catch residue. Mm -hmm. 
Disconnect the lavatory hose by twisting the coupler counterclockwise. Close the lavatory flapper. Secure the lavatory dump hose to the appropriate mounting bracket located on the truck tank. Disconnect the D-germ hose and replace the D-germ fill cap. Secure the D-germ hose to the appropriate mounting bracket located on the truck tank. Wipe the interior of the panel with the designated rag. Close the service panel. Wipe the service panel exterior with the designated rag. Lower the basket by pressing the left black activate button and simultaneously press and hold the down button. Perform a 360 safety walk around the lavatory truck. The guide person does a counterclockwise walk around the truck. Remove chocks and store on the designated hook located on the tank. Driver then positions himself in the driver's seat, pushes the button to transfer power back to the engine, and safely exits the safety diamond. At the end of every shift, and if needed during the shift, you will need to dump the tank and refill the truck with D-germ. Every location will be different, but every airport has a triturator station on the property. When you pull into the station, you will set the handbrake. You will then place the chocks on the tires. Connect the D-germ hose to the fill port on the truck. Turn on the D-germ. Enter code to activate the D-germ if applicable. Connect the dump hose to the truck. Open the valve to release the truck contents. Once all waste is removed from the tank, disconnect the dump hose. When the D-germ meter shows full, turn off and disconnect the D-germ. We want to thank you for your attention to this important training. If you have any questions about the equipment, the process, or safety, please contact a supervisor. We value you as an important part of our team and look forward to working with you.